my channel secret point my name is milan and in this video session we are going to see how you can set the size and uh, specify the location of your frame okay so in earlier video session we have already studied that uh, how you can create a frame and how you can make it visible and how you can close the uh, window okay close the frame uh, that for that videos you can refer to my earlier two videos so that you will get some idea how to create a frame okay so in this video session i am going to explain about how you can specify the size of a frame and position of the frame okay so for this we are using mainly three different methods in the frame that is set bounds method set size method and set location method all are having different characteristics we will watch it one by one okay so first learn it about set bounds method okay so sorry sorry first we will learn about set size method then we will learn set bounds then we will learn about set location okay so in the screen you have uh, seeing one program that we have already discussed from that uh, video one session okay so th in that program only i'm going to uh, write the new logic and uh, i'm going to show you what output we are getting okay so now let's come now i'm going to uncomment this one set size method okay so what will happen if we will use the set size method and what is these two parameter i'm passing here okay that i'm going to explain now set size method is used to specify the size of your frame okay and first parameter is indicating your width of the frame and second parameter what you are passing here 200 that is specifying the height of the frame okay so let's take the height of the frame is 300 now save it and run the program right click okay it is got not responded okay now in order to run this program we need to right click on it and click on run file okay so now our program will get executed and what output we are going to see wait it is in executing mode okay now our program got executed and you in the screen you can see that our frame also got created with the width is of 500 and the height is of 300 okay this is the height of 300 and this is the width i was taken as 500 so this frame height and width if you need to set means you have to use the set size method and we are having another method also that is set bounds method okay so in the set bounds method also you can able to specify the height and width along with that you can specify how much space you want to give in the in terms of x coordinate and how much space you want to give in terms of y coordinate okay so for that reason it is accepting four number of parameter okay set bounds method is accepting four parameter that is first parameter is indicating x coordinate space okay how much distance how much space you want to give in terms of x coordinate and uh, the second parameter is indicating how much space you if you want to give from the y coordinate that is from top okay that is from y coordinate how much space you want to give and uh, this is, is as it is like uh, set size method only this parameter is indicating the width of the frame and this parameter the fourth parameter is indicating height of the frame okay now let's execute this program and see what output we are getting run file okay now you can see that our frame got created with the height and width what we have set, if set, uh, set okay and in the screen you can see that it is from the x coordinate it is giving some 500 space and from the y coordinate that is from top to this much position it is giving some 100 that's why it is coming this much of with this much of space it is coming from this location okay so and uh, as we have mentioned the width of the frame is 500 and height of the frame is some 500 right so it is coming with uh, this much of size now let's discuss the set location method what it is doing we will see okay now uh, comment this one and not comment this set location method is also accepting two parameter that is first parameter is your x coordinate space and second parameter is accepting your y coordinate space okay it is mainly used to specify the position of your frame in which position of the window you want to display your frame that is going to specify by the set location method here set location method is accepting two parameters as i have already told you that first parameter is x coordinate and second parameter is your y coordinate space now let's execute this program and see what output we are getting 
as i have mentioned only the location of the frame that is i have not mentioned any of the height and width of the frame that's why the frame is coming like this and uh, i have mentioned the x coordinate space is 50 right so this much of space it is occupying for 50 and uh, y coordinate space i was mentioned 100 or 200 something right so it is coming this much of space from the y coordinate that is from top to this much position and on click of this close button it is calling the set default close operation method in which we are passing the exit and close constant as parameter as part of this method execution this set default close method close operation method execution it is terminating the frame or it is closing the frame normally okay so for your points for your information i was written few points in the comment section you can refer those if you want okay notes to remember okay here are the three different method which uh, which is accepting what parameter that i have mentioned here if you want you can note it down okay so this is all about this video session uh, okay i forgot to explain one thing i forgot to explain you what the program is doing right so here in the class i was take extending the class from jframe okay my app first application is the my class which is extending from jframe class and uh, inside that class i was taken one method get frame and inside that method i was taken the different methods of frame class okay so this is uh, one of the existing video one of the existing program only what i was continuing from the session one onwards so if you having any doubt about this program you can refer that session one from then you will get the idea about this program okay here in the get frame method I am mentioning the different methods of frame class and uh, I am call in the main method I am just creating one anonymous object of this main my first class up my first application class and simply calling the get frame method and as part of this method execution this whatever the methods I am calling from frame class that uh, it is executing and it is displaying on the screen okay so this is all about this video session hope you like this video if you do like then please do subscribe to my channel and keep sharing with your friends thanks for watching take care